Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com. Click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us link. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. So what I want to look at uh, in this video is the Unify uh, Flex Mini. And I want to thank Ubiquity. They sent me out a couple of these along with a UDM SE that you're going to see. Um, we're going to do the UDM SE video after the UXG video. So I'm working on that. But this is one of my favorite switches um, by Ubiquity. And I did a video on it before when they were first released. And um, I just kind of want to go over it again because I really do like the switch. And I didn't give it uh, a lot of in-depth information in that video. So uh, first of all, what you get in the box with this is you get the switch and then you get uh, a power brick. And this is a like a 5 volt, 1 amp power brick USB-C on the business end there. Now, USB-C, you say, yep. So... There's a couple different ways you can power this device, and one way is USB-C, and that is really one of the huge things that I like this switch for, uh, because you can power this with a battery bank, and I use a Telnex 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank, and you can turn this into a portable network tap, a powered active tap, right, so that your connections actually negotiate at gigabit and not 100 megabits like they would with a passive uh, Ethernet tap. And this is the, the Great Scott uh, tap. So that's why I really like this. So it, it's so it's so versatile. So you can see you've got five gigabit ports on the front. Uh, you can power it on uh, port one, PoE in there. Is not passive PoE, I believe. Uh, I don't know if it's AF or AT, but uh, your Unify switch you're uplinking this from should automatically select that for you. You've got a reset button on the bottom there. And then, of course, we've got the LED over here. Um, and uh, you can actually, this will actually, uh, you can choose different VLANs and, and things like that. You can do the port mirroring. So you can see I've already got it adopted into the... Um, the UDM Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and power this up real quick. And we're just going to take a look at the uh, software options. Now, this is uh, MSRP for about 29 bucks USD. Uh, I've seen them uh, anywhere between $26 and $30, depending on shipping. Uh, you can buy them in a single, you can buy them in a three pack, and you can buy them in a five pack. So, um, and most uh, frequently, you know, we buy these in three and fives. So whatever you can find if you're looking for them. All right, so our switch is back online, our Flex Mini. So we're going to pull this up and take a look at the options over here. Uh, so you get some of the same options. It tells us where our, our uplink, our downlink is. Got uh, statistics there. Under ports, you can see port one is connected at gigabit. And if I come into port two, uh, I can name the port just like any other Unify switch. I can change the port profile uh, and I can make, you know, one port, uh, one VLAN and one the other. So whoever said you can't do different VLANs on here, that's not correct. You can do different VLANs on this switch. You can also do port profile overrides. You can do uh, switching mirroring. Now, I've not tried to do a lag or an aggregate with this, uh, so I don't know. Um, if it works, you can do port isolation, storm control, all those good things. At least it lets you select it in the software. And then we've got other settings where we can change the name. We can turn that LED on or off. We can put a static address on it. We can change the management, VLAN, allow jumbo frames, all that stuff. We can forget it, all those good things. Now, I don't believe this switch actually has a terminal. Yeah, connection error. Um, now that is, uh, one thing that people will talk about is that you can't SSH into this, um, and that it doesn't use L3 adoption, but you can adopt this into remote controllers. The controllers do not have to be, uh, local. Um, and if it uses Unify, you know, if you've got your DNS and everything set up, you can, uh, do a layer three 
um, adoption with these. I've seen it done and we've done it. So maybe we're just not saying the same things. But if you need an awesome little switch that you can tuck just about anywhere, it's aesthetically pleasing. The price is right, 29 uh, USD. Uh, I really, really love the switch. I carry one of these configured um, as, as a tap in my bag along with my net tool. So I really, really like this. Check it out if you need a nice switch. I hear a lot of people stuff these in living rooms, behind TVs and stuff like that, and it's perfect. doesn't get super hot. doesn't put out a lot of heat. It's fanless, no noise. Um, who else in the industry is making a five-port PoE or USB-C powered switch for 29 USD? Probably nobody. So go check it out. I'll leave uh, um, an affiliate link to this uh, down below. And uh, if you've got any questions, you know, let me know uh, down in the comments. Otherwise, come back for the UXG video that is next. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you'd like to see me make a YouTube video into making this into a tap, let me know. Otherwise, that is out on the TikTok. Like I said, those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form or click the hire us button and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using uh, our clearly marked affiliate links down below or by becoming a patron on Patreon, uh, don't feel obligated to do that, but it is appreciated. It does kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.